Homework question number five in lesson four.、Um, we got this number table. And、uh, the first question is, what is the number in row twenty one and column C? So let's just look at this column C. You got two. Ah,、uh, in first row and seven as third row, twelve at the, uh, the fifth row, and actually you see every time you're gonna add five here. So that will be the pattern of column C, but actually, in row twenty one we got no idea about, um, how many numbers are there in column C, and now we have to, treat two rows, as a cycle. Because every two rows you're gonna have one number in column C. Let's see. As for twenty one rows, how many of this cycle do you have? You have to divide by two because two rows gives us a cycle. So you got ten cycles with remainder of one. So what does that mean? That means you got ten numbers in column C and one more. And so、um, the number will be the eleventh. Number in column C. So do we?、Uh, so can we get the the general term of the arithmetic sequence in column C? Yes, we do. So you got two, seven, twelve. You got the common difference, which is five. So you got five n, and when you let n equals to one, you got five, and you have to take away three to get two, the first term. And now you know that、uh, as for the number in row. Twelve and column C that will be the eleventh number in column C. So you let n equals to eleven. Five times eleven take away three, so it'll be fifty-five take away three. You got fifty-two. So that'll be the answer for the first one. Second one, what row and column will contain the number ninety ah、uh, eighty-nine? And you can see for each cycle, we know that is two rows. You got five numbers, right? So you can use that eighty nine divided by five. See what you get. In the tens digit, you got one, and you got a thirty thirty nine, thirty nine divided by three, you got seven, and you get a remainder of say、um, four. Okay, it's、so、got seventeen with the remainder of four. And let's say you got seventeen cycles, not seventeen rows. And in each cycle, you got two rows, so you have to use seventeen times by two. You got thirty-four complete rows, and you have four more numbers. Let's say you got thirty-four complete rows, and then you go to the thirty, the row thirty-five, and in row thirty-five, ah,、uh, you see you got three numbers, right? Because thirty-five is an odd number. So in any odd number row, you got three numbers. So you're gonna have、um, three numbers to complete that row thirty five, and but here the remainder is four. It's not three. So you have to go to one more row here. So you go to row thirty six, and、um, now you have only one number at that at that row. So row thirty six, and you see for any even number row, for row two through、uh, four six. The first number will be in column B. So you see that number eighty nine will be in row thirty six and column B. So row thirty six, column B.